What is up guys, IDG here, and today we're going to be doing Xur week number 19. I know I've missed a few, mic broke, on a vacation, and I'm sick still, so that's my voice sounds a bit weird, it does, to you guys. But for our my 19th week, video wise, see what you got Xur. Starting off, Titans, you have no backup plans, Fifth. Increase discipline, increase strength, rain blows, momentum transfer, shotgun loader, and machine gun loader. The exotic perk, force multiplier, shotgun kills trigger force barrier and force barrier duration is increased. So longer force barrier and shotguns, boom, force barrier. So really good to use with armor of light, immobus, force barrier, low or high strength combo in PvP. Kind of a fun one to do. The rain blows and shotgun loader is good, but mm, strength discipline roll could be better. I'm just saying, deciding to say that for no reason today. Other than why not? For PVE, these aren't that great because you're mostly using a sniper, and well, most people are usually use snipers. So like for strikes, these aren't bad, but like the raid, they're not great at all. Not really that good at all. Hunters, you have Graviton Forfeit with increased intellect, increased strength, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and invigoration. The exotic perk, Elusive Shadow, gives you Shade Step if you don't have it equipped on your Night Stalker. So you can use something else in that last roll. The roll is... nothing really pops out for me personally. I'm just saying. But, um, the Shade Step is really fun to use and it's pretty good well, just in case you want to use that first perk I forgot what it's called um, the one that gives you the hunted ability and stuff like that or the other one not as great not as used but still a choice this warlocks you have the apothesis apotheses pretty sure it's apothesis veil pretty sure it's the apothesis veil Increase intellect, increase strength, inverse shadow, second thoughts, and inveration. Inveration? I think it's inveration. Inveration. Exotic perk, private reserves. You immediately regenerate your health, melee, and grenade whenever you use your super. Used to be really good in Crota. Now it's not. It's just. There's hardly any reason you'd be using this. There's way better PvE and PvP ones, but collection might get buffed in year three maybe hopefully because that just it doesn't get used at all because of that really looks cool though the exotic weapon of the week is the Zalo supercell with cqb ballistics smart drift control and aggressive ballistics just in case you want more impact or a tad bit more stability but both of them cost a tad of range persistence gains weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired Second row perks, Hammer Forge, just in case you want more range. Rifle Barrel, even more range at the cost of some rear reload. Or Brace Frame, almost max stability with cost to your magazine. So Aggressive Ballistics and Brace Frame will bring the stability back to where it is right now and give you more impact, but less mag size. So that's up to you. First exotic perk is Bolts from the Blue. Double kills with this weapon charge a small bit of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. Which is pretty good if you can hit double kills on PvP. PvE on small little guys, this is a really fun and good perk. And Golgoroth, it's super useful. It's like that and the Red Death are like two of the best things to use for the orbs if you have the gates. And it's just really cool looking. The weapon is. Look at that. The exotic, the first, or second, is this first or second? I don't know. Since it's back here, it might be the first. Is the Zalo Supercell. It's the exotic perk, I mean. Arc projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close. Kind of like Primary Thunderlord. Exotic perk. Which is really good for small guys, or once again, the orbs for Golgoroth, or PvP. Hope get assists and double, that double kill for that bolts from the blue perk. 
It is the only year two primary with an, a burn, and it has arc burn. All around, this weapon's pretty nice. It's got some nice perks. Just pair up. Brace frame regress to ballistics, or like... Yeah, that, and then Persistence to help with that. Then these two are really cool perks to have together, and the Arc Burn. Great for Arc Burn, Night Falls, and stuff like that. Nice speed runs, does a lot of damage. I don't. I personally don't like the Iron Sight too much, but it's pretty good. Hey, it's not a rifle, so shut some people off, but I think that's a medium rate of fire, low impacts, I think. Or medium rate of fire, medium impact. So not that super fire fast, kind of like the... I think. I don't know why I'm describing that fire rate to you. You guys should know. Legacy Engram of the Week is a primary engram. Just in case you want to get a last word or a hawk moon to be able to buy your weapon vendor. Or if you're looking for a thur... Thurn. If you're looking for a thorn. If you're looking for a thorn for when your three rolls by, you'll have a... Primary, you'll have it ready to buy me blueprint vendor guy. Oh no, not a terrible week. This could be better. This is kind of like fun, fun, really good, pretty good, terrible, pretty good stuff. But yeah, that's their week number 19. Say so it was pretty good, successful. See you guys in the next video. Peace.